Okay, so I've probably done about 10 takes of this, and this is gonna be the final one no matter what happens. It's Friday night, it's 6 p.m. The Sharks on her Jet Black Whisper Drive trainer in the basement. Yeah, that was a sponsor plug because they've been a really long time partner and sponsor of my team. And uh, Anyway, she's down on the trainer and she's amazing. I'm really lucky that I've been stuck inside with her every single day instead of somebody else who would drive me fucking crazy. We're really having a lot of fun together. And like, even when things are annoying or grating, we've been really, really generous and like super good to each other. Um, so that's awesome. And she's been baking like a mad woman, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that we made the choice to only go and visit with her parents. Um, you know, they're in their sixties and, uh, you know, Joe just turned 80. So <clears throat> yeah, we haven't really seen anybody else. Um, there's been, it's really sweet. Like some friends will stop by and like hang out in the yard while we're on the porch and we'll walk out and say, Hey, uh, but yeah, we haven't really seen anybody. So I'm like deeply grateful that I love my partner and I can stand to be around her 24 seven. She's amazing. Anyways, she's incredible. She's just got that drive. Like she works out every day and I just posted a photo to my Instagram. First bike ride I did done in two weeks is yesterday, you know, and we rode down downtown and uh, up Thompson, up German, uh, what the hell is it called? Up Lovejoy to Thompson, it's been so long, I don't even remember what the fuck the road is called. <laughs> but it's amazing and like hats off to all the athletes out there that are keeping on it and hitting it and all the girls on my team and all the riders on other teams and everybody, I mean, we saw people out there riding and training and it's still fucking eerie though and one thing I wanted to get into, and I might save it for another time when I have my wits about me. This feels like Portland 15, 20 years ago when I moved here. The roads are quiet. There's people out, but not hordes and hordes and throngs of people out. And uh, I'm not saying that's a, a better thing or a good thing. It's just a trip because it really feels like legit old Portland uh, before it has kind of become what it's become now, which is a good segue to talk about Alexandra and I watched The Last Black Man in San Francisco. It's a film. Uh, I think it's, I think we have found it on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Megan Chinberg recommended it to us. I've been wanting to watch it for a while. I considered San Francisco home. I lived there for five years in the 90s, in the late 90s, and that's where uh, I was playing in punk bands and skateboarding a lot and made this massive transition from, uh, honestly, a big transition from skateboarding to riding bikes. And that's where I got into fixed gears and eventually got into bike racing. And it, it was hard. It was a hard one for me to watch. Just having this attachment to a place in the you know you watch the movie I recommend it and it might have been a little more emotional for me than I think a lot of other people just because of my connection to San Francisco and how I don't know it's a place I can never move back to at this point you know unless you're a millionaire you're not I mean good luck uh, it always was a difficult and expensive place to live and ironically the cheapest rent I ever paid was when I lived in San Francisco in the 90s but that was the single longest time I'd ever lived in any one city so I was a military brat. Every two years of my life, I bounced around to another base. You know, we moved overseas a bunch. I lived in a bunch of foreign countries. Moved back to the States. I mean, even through high school, I moved two, three years after living in uh, Delaware. Uh, and it was hard. It was a trip. So that got me super emotional. So I woke up today. I'm in a funky mood. And I, I'm just in a funk. And I know everybody is. And it's one of those things where... Alexander's in the basement riding the trainer and doing his whip, and it's awesome. And I would rather sit down here in my office and try to work on video editing. And I just feel like that's a more important use of my time right now. You know, like, I still consider myself an athlete, and I still consider myself a pro athlete, though it's, it's kind of the furthest thing from my mind right now. I don't 
think about getting out there and putting in the work and doing the intervals right now. And I think also it helps a little bit that, you know, in general, my primary focus is cyclocross, which comes in the fall. I would love to explore this and do a whole other post on like the timing of being a pro and an athlete and training and all this stuff. And I have all this footage and shit. When I started weight training, you know, what, two, three weeks ago, I was going to follow this whole fast cat, uh, you know, I've lifted a bunch over the years and it has been probably a decade since I've done a strength training program before season. But anyways, it's a trip because I don't have any events or races coming up. And I know it's a lot harder for all the road and gravel athletes that had races that would have been now and would have been, I mean, I would have been at races with the team right now. And yeah, it's a trip. So I said this is going to be the only take tonight and uh, I'm going to try and do some more editing. And that's the thing I'm learning about video editing, everybody. I know I'm charismatic. I know that I'm funny. In fact, I'm very funny. But man, editing video is so much hard work. You, you, you could do these talking head videos where you're literally a talking head talking at the camera and it's one cut and this is what a lot of vlogs are like but mad respect to everybody out there editing and producing good content because it's so damn hard there's a reason good videos look good is because it takes a lot of work so that's what i'm working on right now that that's literally my sole focus right now is video editing. I mean, I just want to get good at it. So I'm on this grind. So I'm, I feel like maybe I'm kind of doing my base miles and I'm going into my beginner season of uh, video editing and production. And you know, I'm hoping to like kill it this season. So I got to put a lot of work in, which is just like video editing. It's fucking crazy. It's just hours and hours and hours of time. It takes me so long to edit a video clip. So this is literally going to be a one rip. And I have my scissors because uh, something exciting showed up in the mail today package from Sockeye and uh, since I noticed on social media a bunch of sponsored teams are you know giving a shout out to Sockeye they're in SoCal and they're still working and they're still shipping I'm gonna see what I got from Sockeye boom so I, I kid you not and I'm not gonna claim anything to this but literally, uh, can you see that? This is going to be the other thing with video editing. See how you can't see this? This is why a good video editor will know how to cut to this. And if uh, I wanted to put some energy into it, I would. But yeah, I, I told the people at Sakai, I said, why don't you do your SGX sock in wool? In wool? Because everybody loves the SGX sock. I wear wool socks all the time. I have horribly stinky feet and a wool sock is the only thing that will keep my feet smelling nice. So thank you for sending me a couple pairs of these. Uh, they're technically the, the SGX 6. So uh, I'm going to try these out because I'm really picky about socks. It's super, super weird, but whatever. We're all cyclists. We're into weird shit. Uh, they have to have some compression and I swear to God, the second any sock starts to kind of sag, I lose my mind and I throw it away. Like they have to last for a really long time and not blow out, not make my feet sweat or stink and have a good leg gripper and band while also not making me look like I have sausage calves. So boom, there's a couple pairs of socks. I wanna give those guys a shout out because you really didn't have to do this. This is super sweet. I'm not sponsored by Sock Guy or anything like that. Um, I really wanted to check out the new stuff. I told them I would pay for it and I didn't even get around to it and it showed up. So thank you so much, that's super sweet. And yeah, this is probably gonna be one of the, hopefully one of the last, hopefully this will be one of the last videos I do in one take because I am actually getting okay. I'm not gonna say I'm good yet, but I'm getting okay at video editing. Right now, I'm looking at some footage I pulled off me doing a descent and when, when, when I rode yesterday for the first time in weeks. I did this descent and I turned my GoPro on and I wanted to see what it looked like in cinematic mode. So I'm gonna cut and edit that and hell, maybe I'll actually add some of that to the end of this clip. 
Maybe I'll do something like this. Boom, and pop it up in a little box right there. There you go. That's gonna give me some homework. So if I did that in this video, you know that I probably spent two full days making that crappy little box appear. But you know what? My videos are gonna be better for it. And that's it for me. I should shut the fuck up. I'm not promising I'm gonna do these every day, but it's Friday. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with myself. I need to train uh, because, I mean, I'm a pro athlete, right? I should be training. Uh, but I've, I've never done Zwift in my life. Maybe that's something I should try. I, I hate riding in the rain and I really don't love riding indoors. Um, and again, I don't have any races or targets coming up and I'm not gonna make myself suffer through it. So hopefully I'll just work on videos and get better at that. Uh, thanks again for listening. This is a really long one. You guys are awesome. And thanks for the support too. Like all the comments and shit I get, I see them and it means a lot. And really like, give me homework. If there's stuff you wanna see or anything you want me to do, please tell me. And also be critical. You can tell me like what you don't like about these videos. Like, I, I really mean that. I love criticism. Uh, just lay it on me. So there you go, there's my one cut. Shout out to Trail Butter for the new t-shirt and hope you have a rad weekend. Good night.